So I wanted to give you one more example of a story initially from one of our two people we were talking about earlier. I was called in on an important project which would allow our bank to just expand its trading business to new products. The project was falling behind. My boss asked me to look into what was happening and among other things, I found out that there was insufficient expertise on the trading desk on the risk monitoring for the product. I sought permission to contact the risk management area. My boss resisted because he was afraid of imposing on the risk group too much. I persisted and he said I could talk to them, but had to keep him in the loop. I developed a great relationship with the risk management area, illustrating the importance of this system to them. They came up with the resources to support our development effort, and we were able to deliver the system within our time frame and budget. The risk management area and the trading desk also developed a stronger relationship going forward. So beyond basic programming skills, what do we know about this person? Well, we know that that person uh, had skill in um, um, incorporating other professionals' points of view and building a plan. Okay. Anybody else want to add anything? They're a problem solver because they looked for what the problem was. Yep, they 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 dug, and and then acted. So therefore, solved the problem. Anybody want to add anything else? So, if I was in a time crunch, in an interview, I might have a version of the 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 story that was, comes out like this. I was called in on a lagging project and by getting permission to involve the risk management area was able to secure funding that brought the project in on time. So with practice, you can take these stories down to a very short version and an even shorter version would be a two line version that would show up on a resume. Engage risk management area to secure participation and funding that brought major project in on time. So that's the kind of thing you want to have on your resume. And that's another talk that we could do is talking in depth about how to develop really strong bullets for your resume that get people to want to talk to you to find out more about the bullet you put in. 